Tesla has finally revealed the secret weapon the company plans to build the Cybertruck, and it is the most powerful gigapress machine in the world. This new invention from the Idra Group uses 9,000 tons of pressure and would forge the entire rear body frame of the Cybertruck in one giant piece. This was the same machine used in producing the Model Y with a single rear body piece that replaced 70 different parts in the vehicle. However, the Cybertruck Giga Casting would bring production to a whole new level, and this is an applauded and unprecedented accomplishment in engineering. Now let's talk about the Gigapress machine and how Tesla plans to make use of its capability to make the Cybertruck a reality. Over the last few years, Tesla has been heavily investing in casting and alloy technology to enable larger casted parts that have the capability to greatly simplify manufacturing. The company acquired several units of the biggest casting machine in the world. These giant multi-million dollar machines are developed by Idra. The name press comes from the primary mechanism where shots of molten aluminum weighing 80 kilograms are injected into the cold chamber casting mold with a velocity of 10 meters per second. The metal hardens into a frame section for a Tesla vehicle. The company had been teasing the new Gigapress over the last few months. Images and videos were shared on social media showing that it was painted in Tesla's signature red and white color scheme, leading to speculation this latest machine was for them. The body of the Cybertruck is an exoskeleton unibody shell that has the pickup truck's cockpit integrated into it. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has already shared this information at the time of the Cybertruck unveiling back in 2019. Since the outer shell of the Cybertruck body is made of 30 times cold rolled stainless steel, a super large gigapress was needed to create this unibody with immense pressure. It's hard to mold a hardened stainless steel sheet to give it a shape or form, therefore we now have the 9,000 ton gigapress. Every car manufacturer uses casting and stamping to make several components that are then attached together to create a frame. Tesla was, however, the first company to scale this technique up to the point where the entire front and rear quarters of the frame are casted into a single solid piece of aluminum. This makes the car easier to build because it's now one big chunk of aluminum instead of a couple dozen little pieces all stuck together. The biggest hurdle was finding a company that would be capable of manufacturing casting machine on the scale of the Gigapress. The company that was able to take up the challenge was the Idra Group, an Italian manufacturer that operates under the parent company IK Technology based in Hong Kong. The manufacturing company has now released their latest invention, which is a 9,000-ton Gigapress. Idra is preparing their 9,000-ton press for an open house being held early June. The Gigapress will remain on display until June 16th, at which time it will likely be disassembled and shipped to Giga Texas. According to one of the employees, taking it apart and and putting it back together again is relatively easy, but it is made difficult just because of the sheer size of the different components. It takes 24 flatbed delivery trucks just to move the components to the site. The Gigapress measures 20 by 7.5 by 6 meters and weighs in at 430 tons. The Cybertruck will be built at the brand's Gigafactory in Austin, Texas, starting in 2023. Musk has also previously stated that he wants to simplify the production of Tesla's vehicles by building them like die-cast toys using fewer large pieces instead of many small ones. What's more exciting about this development is that the Cybertruck development and production like coming together very soon, and this is made possible with this impressive Gigapress, which is probably the most complex and important component of the manufacturing process. The simplicity of the Cybertruck also makes it very quick and an easily repeatable process. The Gigapress just scaled up to meet the energy and demands of the much larger and more powerful truck. The front section would be cast and similar to the Model Y, the truck's frame has to stretch farther while also maintaining its rigidity and strength. Additionally, the frame needs to hold up under the weight of whatever the owner of the truck decides to put on it or tow with their truck. The consumers are excited about this hardcore utility vehicle, not because it looks pretty or unique, but because it is sturdy and strong enough to hold on to any kind of pressure, which is the angle Tesla is working with this design. Productions like the Gigapress are very important if Tesla plans to hold up to their end of the deal by mass producing the electric truck at an affordable price. We've seen the new specs and designs added to the electric pickup truck since its debut in 2019, and have also seen all traces of option packages and pricing disappear from the Tesla website. Irrespective of all of this, we still know that the Cybertruck plans to incorporate a new self-driving hardware version 4 package with upgraded computers and cameras.
us. Musk had previously suggested the truck could have been shrunk to accommodate European roads, but later tweeted, Review design with Franz von Holzhausen, Tesla's chief designer. Initially, the top-spec Cybertruck was set to come with three electric motors. In December of 2021, Elon Musk teased plans to develop a new four-motor Tesla Cybertruck with a crab walk feature, just like the Hummer EV. The Hummer EV uses its four-wheel steering to allow the truck to move diagonally as a crab might to dodge boulders and large rocks when driving off-road. Musk also said the Tesla system would work not just like a tank, but left and right-hand side wheels turn in opposite directions to spin the truck on the spot. Musk also suggested that you'd be able to upgrade to this new quad motor model if you'd already put your name down for a single, dual, or triple motor Cybertruck. It isn't clear whether all these versions will still be available once Cybertruck production begins, however. After all, Tesla famously canceled all orders for the Plaid Plus model not long after Plaid production had started with Elon Musk saying Plaid Plus is canceled. No need, as Plaid is just so good. Tesla has confirmed the all-wheel drive tri-motor Cybertruck will accelerate from 0 to 60 miles an hour in under 3 seconds. A dual-motor all-wheel drive model does the same sprint in under 4.5 seconds, while the entry-level single motor with rear-wheel drive will take 6.5 seconds to go from 0 to 60 miles an hour. Tesla says its tri-motor Cybertruck can manage 500 miles between charges. The mid-spec dual-motor model, meanwhile, lasts 300 miles, but the entry-level rear-drive Cybertruck will only do 250 miles between electrical charge-ups. Inside, the angular design theme continues with geometric seat backs and a flat shelf-like dashboard. What's less normal for a pickup is the massive 17-inch touchscreen and the yoke-shaped steering wheel that also found its way to the new Tesla Model S Plaid and Model X Plaid. Tesla reckons the Cybertruck has 2,830 liters of lockable cargo capacity. This includes the load bin, which Tesla calls the vault the frunk, and even more storage behind the side windows. The Cybertruck has integrated 120 volt and 240 volt power points, turning it into a kind of mobile mini power station. It also features an onboard air compressor, which will make it much easier to use on camping trips or building sites. The single motor Cybertruck, which is the last one expected to go into production, is set to start at $39,990, $5,000 cheaper than the cheapest Model 3. Meanwhile, the dual motor model Model, complete with all-wheel drive, was set to cost $49,990. The tri-motor Cybertruck, which was originally the flagship model, is set to clock in at $69,990. What do you think of the Gigapress, and what features do you like most about the new Cybertruck updates? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks!